Now, fellas, today's video is being powered and sponsored by Manscaped, and more precisely, the performance package. This thing is huge. This thing has it all. First things up is the Lawnmower 3.0. This is the no nick technology buzzer, waterproof, and I haven't charged it since I've gotten mine. Highly recommend. It makes your uh, grooming needs nice, safe, and efficient. And then next up is the Crop Preserver and Ball Toner Spray. This keeps the game equipment fresh and lubricated. Then the Weed Whacker. Okay, this is for your nose and your ears. If you're a hairy mamma jamma, and you have these long, elongated hairs that grow out, this is what you need. One of the worst things that can happen on a date is when your date points at your ear and she says, is that really attached to your ear? This thing has it all. Manscaped sent me the Shears 2.0 Luxury Nail Kit. We have a filer, we have scissors, and we have this crazy contrap. I've never seen a, a clippers or a nail clipper with this kind of contraption before. Super compact and pretty cool. Now to immensely support the channel and keep Floppy Woppy going and your balls and your body happy, check out the link in the description below. Go through that link and get 20% off your whole entire order. No code, just click the link and 20% off. And then also two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Boxer Briefs, AKA Flies, uh, only thing he wears when he's walking. Huge thanks to Manscaped. And by the way, Manscaped, I know you're watching this. I'm very interested in trying the Plow 2.0. Okay? Manscaped, thank you so much for sponsoring, empowering the channel. And fellas, thank you for uh, your support through these sponsored bits. Sincerely. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry about the late upload. I just wanted to get this to y'all today to enjoy for your Sunday. We are on the dev server for the new patch in War Thunder. And how this is going to work today is that we're going to go through pretty much the whole patch, look at some stuff, play a teeny bit, but for uh, Monday onward, that's where I'm going to be making my individual videos on what I'm most excited for or what I think would be the most enjoyable to play. So we're going to move left to right. We'll start off with the aircraft, move on to tanks, then naval, and then we'll queue up the new map to see what it looks like and what it has to offer. Okay, so this isn't a new aircraft, but it's a new weapon system that we have to look at. This is going to be, this is, uh, how do I say this? This is the Kapar's worst nightmare. I don't know. Okay. So what this is, is a Raytheon AGM Maverick, which is a air to air to surface lock on fire and forget missile. Fire and forget missile. Think of it like a fire and forget bullpup that has um, some ridiculous qualities. I don't think, you know how like sometimes a bullpup might hit your engine deck and, and you won't explode. I don't know, Mickey, maybe it's like an Abrams, right? It doesn't hit you perfectly and you'll just, you know, hit an engine deck and it won't kill you. I don't think there's any possibility of surviving this if it's a direct hit. So how they work is that you go into your view here, you'll have a little like camera here and then you'll designate where you want to fire it. Okay, and we'll queue up it, we'll press spacebar once, it likes it and it's launched. Oh, that's a, okay. Uh, uh, oh my, all right, good, good, okay. So that's a really, that's a really bad launch. That was actually my second launch ever, uh, mulligan. Uh, but you could, let's just go far away. Now, I don't know how this weapon system fully works in real life, but I assume that it can track its target on the move. I would assume that. So pretty much wherever that vehicle go vehicle goes, oh God, I'm getting really excited now, in open space, the missile is gonna track. Now, I think smoke will prevent it from tracking perfectly accurate. Maybe it might just defeat the missile entirely. I don't know, but behind cover, you'll be safe. I don't think you can dumb fire like bull pups. The lesson is, if you see one of these guys up and you can see that this guy has Mavericks on board, just hide. Don't even shoot at it if you don't have like a proper anti-air. Okay, so here we go. We're on better line. Let's go back to the camera. We're gonna des designate again right there. Cue it up and fire. And fire. It's away, it's traveling. I'm, I don't know how far away I am. I, I don't have that set, but this is like kilometers away. Oh, 
it was close. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna do it how I would do it in ARB. Or ground RB. Okay, we spot somebody, he's over there. Very cool. We'll pop some combat flaps. Really? Combat flaps on a jet 500. Cool, whatever. Alright, here we go. Controls are a little clunky. Boy, yep, there it goes. Okay. Let's go out to... I don't know. This this is how it could work, though. You got a, you got an anti-air. A radar got an SBAA. This is, this is hard for a non-rocketed SBAA to really do anything to you. Let's just go, get in here. Let's gimbal station, stationary, and lock, and fire. Look at that. That's insanity. Look at the little, look at, look at him go. Oh my, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This, I don't know what this feeling I have inside me, but it's going to be so satisfying to completely murder anti-air sitting in their spawn. However, what is the counter to this? Like, there is a hard counter. You, you get in a plane and shoot it down, right? But there's no, like, easy counter like it was before. Because bullpups, you at least have to get kind of close. Now, at the same time, you, you could easily launch them out. This one's just ridiculous. You can engage two or three targets if your controls are set up properly. Mm, that, sound, that, that seemed a little bit weird. Let's just follow it in. Look at it. It's just falling. God, it feels like it's really slow. Maybe it doesn't go. I don't know. We're getting close. And fire. That should mess it up. Okay. This missile is too smart. The missile knows where it is. And also, I think you can launch these at aircraft. Here's a, uh, here's a MiG-15. These missiles, I don't think, go fast. They, they, they seem like they go like a thousand kilometers an hour or something like that. But these would be great to deal with helicopters. Okay, don't break my wings, please. Okay, here we go. In the TV. Stabilize the gimbal. Lock it. Oh, are, are, did you do it? Uh, look at it. D yeah, there we go. Oh my God. Unnecessary. And shout out to the new HUD we have. About time. All right, that's the, uh, that's the Maverick. Kind of insane. All right, we're moving to Germany. Germany has no new aircraft, at least on this dev server. Moving to the, the United Soviet, Soviet Russia. That's ridiculous. Sorry about that. This one has the SU-17M2, which looks amazing. And at 10.0, it's going to be a lovely ground striker or frontline fighter, interceptor in uh, ARB and ground RB. One thing that I, I mean, the SU-7s are really fun. Don't get me wrong. But they, they just don't have that R60 to help them out in, like, a, a dogfight or to uh, be able to sneak up to someone in ground RB and just send that off and leave and not have to really lose your speed too much. Let's go and see what we have on board here. We have four R60s. These are 30 Gs, I believe. Yeah, 30 Gs. And then and the really nice thing is, is that we can get two mouse-guided bull pups and two of these. What are what are these? These are not in our inventory. These might be the counterpart to the Maverick potentially. There's a lot of these. X23, X25. I don't see them in here at all. I see the uh, the 20 or the yeah the 23 right here. But other than that, we don't. There's the pod. There's two. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, oh my. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay. Let's take this thing off because this thing should have swept wings. Max value nine. Min value six. 
There we go. Okay, let's let, let's put them out full for a takeoff. Let's see how fast we can take off with these. Oh. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Am I fully out? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you going in? Swept zero? Oh, it's on relative control. We're at zero degrees. Going into mock. Oh, look at, look at the wings. Oh, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's bring him in. Bring him in, bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. Bring him all the way in. There we go. So it feels like it has the same sweat as like the SU-7s, maybe a little bit more than that. But a lot of opening for drag compared to the F, I mean, the F-14 is not like, the, I'm just saying like there's that pocket between the empennage and the middle of the aircraft. Okay, next up, this one's beautiful and I, I, and I, I might play it for a video, but holy, this thing's 10.7. Wow, how fast is this thing? Yes, it, it, it can change. This thing looks cool. Nice, nimble fighter, max speed 1400 kilometers an hour. And look at this loadout. Look how like fun and perfect it is. We get, yeah, this is perfect. This is such a fun, how does, how do all these weapons fit on this aircraft? That's what I want to know. All right, and then finally we have, ooh, I missed, I missed one. No, I didn't. Okay, Sweden has, so not, not too many aircraft this patch around. We got a premium D, here, we'll just show it to you guys. Premium Fokker, which biplanes inbound, never. Gosh, I just want, like, imagine if they, like, imagine the physics of biplanes in, in War Thunder, if they really could do them. We have 20 millimeter Olerkin. This sounds like a, thing. is that the, okay, they're wing mounted. It seems like these are going to be, this would be pretty decent for a 2.0 if it has a decent climb rate. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's got, it's got 120 rounds. Yeah, this thing's going to wreck. That's a ton of shots into like low tier planes. This thing's actually going to be a, a blast in ARB. Look at this thing. Look how cute it looks. This thing's evil though. Don't, 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 don't let it fool you. All right, that's it for airplanes on this dev server. Let's go to ground vehicles. Okay, so we, ha we have a new Bradley for America. Looks like a new toe. Maybe a little bit more armor. Always good to have more Bradleys in War Thunder. 25 millimeter. The armor is really not going to matter too much, but, you know, I think it's a little heavier, a little slower to the battle. But it does have new ATGMs, I believe, if I can go to them properly. It's going to have, I don't know. It's just toes. Oof. Maybe it's not here. Maybe, maybe it's just more armor. Yeah, there, there, there it is. Yeah, new Bradley. Exciting for those who like Bradleys. Uh, Germany has the J, the Ya Panzer K. This is going to be interesting. I, I, I don't know what they're talking about here. Holy premiums. Look, like a third of their tree is. Pre oh my gosh, guys. You guys ready to click on this? This thing's already ridiculous. What is this? Hey! Hey, what? What are you? You're so cute. What are you? Why is this 9.3? Oh. But like, I don't, I wouldn't, it better have a stabilizer. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it does. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, high quality ejection. Beautiful. Really weird though, you know? Ooh! Okay, we have new effects with impacts. That's excessive. But at least it goes away quickly. Let's see what machine guns do. 
Yeah, it looks like they go away a lot quicker. I mean, last patch, someone would shoot you and like, it's like, it's like your tank was stored in a hangar for like 20 years. This one hits, gone. You can see instantly. It's good. And hopefully 50 cows won't do that to like the, the, the gunner. All right, USSR, we have a T28, 1.3 T28. This one's going to have a, a, wow. How many crew? That That's the only important thing. See, the, in, the T, in, in the T28, you don't care about armor, really. That doesn't really matter too much. You care about how many crew members are here. Okay, so we have six high-quality T28 at 1.3 for a cannon that does, oh, my Lord. Okay, that can't be right, right? Oh my god, it's right. Look how small this thing is. Look how small. The breach is bigger than the barrel. This one we're, we're definitely going to have to take out. This one's going to be wild. Okay, then, then now this BMP, which apparently has an engine upgrade of four, 42 horsepower on the same tonnage. No, it's bigger by a ton. Um, let's... Okay, I, I, I just got to see it real quick. Okay, 45 millimeter... Any interesting ammo? Kind of the same-ish. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just run with this thing. Now, the BT-7 has, like, transmission issues with the... Oh. Oh. That's at the top speed pretty quick. So compared to the BT-5, the, the BT-5 can weirdly like change positions or like traverse without losing too much speed. This one seems to be able to do it pretty well as well, as well as well. This thing feels hossy though, like a lot of powers underneath it. <laughs> Pew! Wow, orange humans! Dude, <laughs> the gun sounds, War Thunder changes the sound in this game like every week. Like, why can't they just, like, leave it for, like, six months? This thing is going to be fun. Fast, too. Acceleration. Okay, and now I think to a big event. We have Great Britain with a sub-tree inside of it. Or, yeah, how do I look at this? Yeah, here we go. Or I guess it's not a substrate, it's just another line. South African line, which is really welcome because the South Africans have some really batshit crazy stuff that I can't wait to see. Let's start off with the uh, Rattel 90. I assume this might be like a French thing. Oh, thank gosh. Thank gosh, it's completely different looking. It's completely ridiculous. This is exactly what I wanted from this. Look at this thing. 6.7, 6.7. 6.7 to fit your whole family and go to war in. Absolutely. Look at this. Look at this armor. Look at this armor. You can't append this with 50 cows. Look at, well, maybe. What is this here? Why would you give this only 20 then this 8 more? Why wouldn't you just shoot here? Why is this so ridiculous? I don't care, though. It's a video game. This looks like something from Star Wars. You just put some legs on it. Boom. Okay. 6.7. Top speed, 105 kilometers an hour. Okay. Heat fin stabilized, 320. Wow, this will give the uh, RU251 a run for its money. You get killed by this thing, yeah, you can just completely eat it. You just shoot it right here. There, there, there's like, if you ever engage one of the things, never shoot it back here. Just shoot it in the front. Okay, so that's a good start. Elan 90, all right, customize. Ooh, ooh. Wow, I like what they did with the tires. Really nice. So like an AML 97.0. Okay, moving on to the Rattel. I'm probably mispronouncing these. 7.3. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, cool. Look at this thing. So is it the same kind of? Yeah, same kind of. It looks a little bit smaller than the other one, but maybe not. All right, so we got a, at 7.3, we got a cool 20 millimeter on this. That's going to have R3 T20 characteristics with penetration and whatnot. So easily, this thing will eradicate other light vehicles. And then we have a good 
Milan Missile, ATGM. How many of these do we have? Eight. Awesome. Okay. Good for 7.3, or at least this, that area. Don't want to look at this one. Olef. Olefin. 8.3. Okay. Very Centurion, but it looks like it has a little bit more power to it. 45 kilometers an hour. Well welcomed. Uh, wait, what are we? Eight. Oh my gosh, heat fin stabilized in a Centurion. Look at, or, you know, 8.3. This thing's going to do well. Armor. Very conventional. We'll get, we'll get eradicated at this battle rating, but it will also eradicate other things. Let's go to the, the ZT3A2. Give the Chinese um, a run for the money on the name. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Yes. Who, who's designing this? Who, who are the designers? There has to be more batshit crazy like this or the stuff like this. So this is going to be an ATGM launcher. It's got a little infantry 7.62 millimeter and then 10 ATGMs in here for to reload its three launcher. And, oh, oh what, 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 wait, what, what? Apparently it has a 90 millimeter on board. I have no idea. Okay, but uh, yeah, some big penetration. Big penetration with the ATGM, 8.7. Okay, going up further, the tree. Roy, Roycott MTTD. Oh, 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 kind of like et, the HSTV style on a, well, not really, but like the same kind of concept with the angles and whatnot. Okay, so they <laughs> they put the ammo extremely high to hit that. I assume that they, these are blowouts, so even if they do get hit, they will blow out IRL. But the crew looks safe, except right here. Uh, 9.3, 120 kilometers an hour top speed. 105 millimeter reload, 6.7 seconds. Let's go to the modification and see what kind of rounds we're shooting. DM23, very nice for such a quick vehicle. Love it. Okay, and then I think the one that I've been waiting for all this time. No, okay, there's more to be added. This is like a Centurion upgrade it? What the frick? Yeah, you can see the old set in there. How are you doing? <laughs> Okay, wow, what is this? What, how is this going to work? 9.7. The British just got a whole lot interesting. Let's go ahead and look at this armor through the eyes of its own rounds. So we have a M111 DM63. What? Okay, let's look at a 400 millimeter pen. Right through, right through. Got it, eats right through here. Let's go to the M111, right through. Yeah, this place is going to be interesting. You shoot right here, you're good to go. But what will you get? You will get a full bag of free ammunition to explode. All right, so this thing's pretty squishy still. Let's see against uh, chemical. Yeah, this thing's. Hey, why put in all this work? Just, hey, just 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 get a go kart. Put a gun. Just get a Toyota. All right, so that's it, I believe, right now for the British South African tree. Uh, Japan's got a new thingy. It is a hero shot. Please, ridiculous. Yes, I will take one. I will take five. This is a 1.7, 13 second reloading, 120 millimeter howitzer at 1.7. And it's going to be shooting HE own. Oh, we have sap. Yeah, this thing's going to do just fine. Just fine at this battle rating. Just let you know that the. The Panzer II Cs, or the Panzer IIs, with 64 millimeters of autocannon pen is still at 1.0 for some reason. All right, and then we have a Italy with some German taste. Oh, that, that didn't come out right. German flavor. We got a Panzer III N, Panzer IV G that actually looks pretty derpy. Uh, but one thing for sure, the camos look great with it. Yeah, abs yep, yep. Meatballs everywhere. Looks sick. You can spot those from a mile away, though, in some of the maps. Uh, Sweden's got a new IKV. Ooh, 8.3. When anything gets above 5.0 on the Swedish tech tree, or maybe even... Okay, if anything gets above... If anything gets above reserve in the Swedish tech tree, I get worried.
I love the Swedes. Look at this thing. Look at look, look at this. Look look at this design here. It's glass. I don't know. Maybe not glass. I don't know. Maybe this is where they make their cookies and meatballs. No armor on this thing at all. Good speed. Uh, okay, speed. At least with the the, the eighteen point seven tons. Um, with the the horsepower is not that much. Armor, absolutely nothing. Can survive nothing, unless we've got some composite in here. Yeah. Okay. Tell me. Tell me what. Tell me what you like to do here. Eight point three. We got a slip junior round and a slip junior M eighty. So this is just going to be a a a light, quick scouting vehicle for for the sweds. I love it. Okay. Uh, Germany's got a new battleship. I think. SMS Kaiser. Oh, wrong button. They have like five battleships now. <laughs> Ooh, looking good. Um, USSR has a PR-50. PR-50, PR-50. I do not even see. It's probably coastal. I'm, I love, like, the uh, USSR boats from, like, Cold War. Things get really crazy on board, and they just look menacing. All right? And then uh, Britain's got an F-77 class. HMS Peacock. Maybe that's it. Nope, here it is. Whippy. Ooh. 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 So what happens when things are in front of you? You just turn to the side a little bit, I guess. Uh, we got, oh gosh, we got a quad four. Wait, what? What are these? What do these do? Sorry. Wow. This thing looks fun. 76 millimeters. 4.5 inch. Torpedo tubes. AA mount. Auxiliary. Maybe, maybe for hedgehogs or something. It looks like they fully rotate. I assume that's what they can do. Uh, Japan's got Imperial Japanese Navy Iz Izuzu. Whoa. Right here, 4.0. Wow. Oh, my gosh. What's this? Three inch. Oh, what, what? Is this a ray gun? Anti-submarine rocket launcher. Hey, I'm telling you guys, once submarines are here, U-boats will be actually extremely interesting to play in War Thunder. I mean, I, I don't know if they're fully going to be here, but, like, come on, right? Look at these. Look at these revolvers. Yeah, this thing's going to be fun to try out for naval fans. Okay, let's take our... Mm, let's take a... Oh, what was... I think it was this one that was really ridiculous. No, 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 no. It was... I want to say the 20 millimeter one looks pretty fun. And we're going to go check out the new map real quick. Yeah, this is it. Nope. Oopsie daisy. Is this, is it this guy? 7.3 with ATGMs like that? Yep. Count me in. Okay, so this is Seversk. Probably mispronounced that. Seversk 13. This looks like a really fun map. Okay, out here we've got like a, a tank trial area, which is probably just like normal roads in Russia. Yeah, this is gonna. Be, can it fire on the move? No, it can't. Seems pretty sluggish here. Now, this is, this is arcade, too. I just wonder why every vehicle, every wheeled vehicle in War Thunder has, like, traction control. Okay, we're visiting the nice little village over here. Looks very Daisy ee -E.
Yeah, this map looks really fun. A lot of open areas on the outskirts. Flanking areas, hold down positioning areas. Okay, now we're into the concrete block. Oh my gosh, this is exactly how Russia looked like when I visited it. Joking. Look at the little parks. Look at the little jungle gym for the future... For the future, uh... Submarine officers and stuff. It's... it's yeah. That, man. No color. Just rust. We have a center square over here as well. Yeah, this map. This map. These are the maps that we need. Okay, can I get in through here? I can. Whoa, we got a big old wall here. Smash a car. And how do we enter? Oh. Oh, neat. Right? Or no? Oh, nope. Just random rubble put there. If, if, if War Thunder really wanted to, they could give the ability for choppers to tow lightly armored vehicles and put them on top of buildings and shit and put them inside the courtyard. But yeah, this map looks very... I don't know if we're top, top tier, but I know that's where we're going to play it at. It will be that fun. But for like T-55 or T-54s and that kind of 7.7 .7 and lower battle rating, this map's going to be fantastic. Fellas, hope you enjoyed this kind of rundown of the dev. Expect this week to have... The uh, individual videos uh, coming out uh, once a day. And uh, hopefully by the time they run out, we'll have another dev to fill the void of some anti-air. Or like, you know, I, I know that Roycott's coming out with the anti-air. And seeing how that or those other vehicles will play. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you all tomorrow. Be safe. Peace out.